Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome. Yes, I am here in the in the studio. Um, just I'm just making some small uh, cream jugs. So let's get the camera down here on the wheel head where the action is. <laughs> and we'll talk through making these little these little cream jugs or small pitchers, you know, they could be used for it could be used for gravy or a sauce or something like that or milk or or cream. Actually, I just done this clip and then I just camera shut down on me. I think the the, the memory card got full. But never mind. Never mind. So, 10 ounces of clay, all right? Four, we set a gauge here, they're four and three quarter inches tall and they're two and three quarter inches wide. All right, let's go. So, doesn't matter, I'm a repeat potter as well as a repeat, a repeat videoer. <laughs> okay, so I've got my mirror there in front of me. Okay, let's go. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to just uh, centre the clay and I kind of centre it and I kind of cone it up, you see, and then I centre it down again, so to speak. Alright, so you've got it centred like that. What's the next thing you're going to do? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb like this and you're just going to push it in at the base there to clear away that skirt of clay that that often uh, finds itself there right at the bottom there where my finger is you really need to get rid of that because it just get in the way you see okay so now breaking in and I kind of judge the thickness by uh, I feel really you know I I, I kind of know so widening out the base now you see so now again coning it in pulling up the clay Outside fingers always a little bit below the ones on the inside. Help you to get under the clay and lift it, you see. Pulling it up. A bit more water. Keep it well wet. Down to the bottom. Lifting, slightly bulging as I lift. Looking for the gauge. See the gauge. Gauge gives you something to aim for, doesn't it? It's like the goal mouth. If you're a footballer, you look for the goal, don't you? Well, if you're a potter, you look for the gauge. Lifting it up, we're getting near the gauge, aren't we? We're getting there. Let's have a little measure. Always good to, uh, even if you work to a gauge, just just measure it as well as you go. Every now and again, not you don't have to do it every time. Just a, a little bit more to go there. So shaping the pot, you see. Looking for the shape. So I'm looking for the gauge and I'm looking for the shape. I'm going to pull it in a little bit at the top, it's a little wide. I think you 
needs a little bit more belly. Not quite enough belly there. Inevitably, you know, when you're making pots, there'll be some that'll be just a little bit fatter than others. Some will be just a little bit more, uh, more one thing or more another, you know. All right. Okay. Let's take my sponge stick and let's clear out any water down there. Like that. Now we're going to take my throwing stick. Using my throwing stick, just going down the side of the pot to the base. So you clean it up right the way, all the way down to the where the pot meets the the wheel head. I'm using my throwing stick, using the edge because I want to be able to lift this pot off the wheel. If you don't clean the slurry off, you, you, you'll have difficulty uh, getting the pot off the wheel head. So always remember that, give the, give it, clean away that slurry. Leather. Okay, uh, cut off wire, this is one of these twisted nylon cut off, wire, cut off wires. Um, you can go to my website, we, do ha we will be having these any moment now, we're going to be having these up there. I did talk about this the other day, um, the, twisted, the twisted wire does give a nice effect on the bottom of the pot, but it's not just for effect that we have a twisted wire. The twisted wire lets more air in underneath the pot, stops the pot re-sticking back down on the wheel head, you see. And um, and that makes that facilitates you see lifting lifting the pot off the wheel. Let's put the let's put him over there. And I've got a couple there that have got to have the the, the pouring lips. Right, so let's just. Let's just focus in on that, just to show you how to see if I can show you how to uh, do a pouring lip. So what you want is, you want two fingers like that. First of all, make sure it's round. Two fingers like that on either side, you see? And then wet, wet your finger. And you're gonna put the finger in there like that and, and wiggle it left or right. But also pull it out up and down like that. So these two fingers, they sort of hold back the rest of the pot and stop it going out of shape. Because if you didn't have those two fingers there and you were just wiggling a finger on the side here, it would pull the whole thing out of shape, wouldn't it? So these two fingers maintain the shape of the top of the pot, stop it going out of shape. All right. Like that, that's that one. And this guy over here, Two fingers on either side, down inside, left to right like that, and a bit of up and down. You see, you want to sort of slightly stretch out the clay there to form the pouring lip. Meanwhile, these two fingers here are holding back the rest of the pot and, are, and keeping it, keeping it, keeping its shape. All right. I think you can see that, can't you? All right, okay, well that's it, making, making a small pitcher, 10 ounces, four and three quarters high, two and three quarters wide, and you see how I pull the lip, and I've talked through the process, so take notes, <laughs> that's the way I do it anyway. Hey, thanks for joining us folks. Please go to my website and look for these wires soon if you are interested in one. I recommend it actually. I've always used a nylon wire um, when I used to work at the pottery. 
I would say one other thing, and that is it's it's only 10 or 11 inches long. You see, it's quite it's quite a short wire, isn't it? You don't want one of these long wires that you get in all of these toolkits that you get that people sell you. They are the biggest handicap for you. Get rid of those wires. Leave them on the wedging table. That's where they belong. They do not belong on a wheel. Wheel wires need to be a lot shorter and preferably with a, a twisted wire like this. And this kind of wire actually has got, a, has got a ceramic end here. This is a ceramic end and that has a wooden end. That, that makes it heavier, you see. You want one end heavier than the other. It works much better as you throw and as you cut off. Uh, always keeps the wire in the wheel tray, never falls on the floor. Um, it kind of grounds the wire where it's, all, where it's always needed and wanted. It always has its place here on the left side, you see. So, anyway, look for those. My website is simonlegepottery.com. That's about it. Next clip is we're going to go over there to the workbench. I'm going to do some uh, slipping of some, some tankards in red iron oxide slip. So join me for that. Until, until then, carry on practicing. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.